hey good looking welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a build your own palette for the holidays and here is mine it's a 10 pan palette it's our monthly collaboration that we're doing where we put together 10 eyeshadows from our singles collection so that we can get some good use out of our collection and today i'm featuring brand exclusive sydney grace except for one shade right here which is glamorous by give me glow and let's not get ourselves too carried away here i do want to do a look i've only put some stuff in the crease because i did have to um, do some previous filming to this so i put some of this french hens in the crease but other than that we don't have anything oh what should i do let's smith 235 it up i don't know why i look so different oh it's probably because i'm too close oh yeah my camera's definitely too close to me that's okay it's whatever <laughs> it's all about that face about that face about that face i'll get it fixed next time i was doing some overhead shots so everything was kind of moved around but i am going to go ahead and deepen up with chocolate bar here on this outer corner again like i said i do have my um my lashes on and everything else just because I had to film something else so Ooh, that is so pigmented folks so 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 big so I'm just kind of angling it downward and then when I'm done kind of flick it up give it the old boot Ooh, and then just flip this over to the side continue to blend Ooh, let's go over okay this is not even but well what I use to even it up maybe a mirror then princess Pepe right here in between the two just kind of fluff it in Soften that brown a little bit, add a little bit more warmth to it. What do you think? I love it. I modeled this off of, which I'm sure you're going to see here in just a minute, when I was choosing the shadows, I modeled this off of the new Rudolph by ColourPop's collection. So, oops, I cheated. But I just couldn't help it. I really am intrigued by it, and I really, really want the palette but I know that I've got these singles in my collection that I can use also all right let's oh let's use glamorous I use tiara quite frequently in my collection so let's use um, glamorous and I will use um, de -dum -dum -dum, my I'll use my p21 from refer it's a prototype no I don't even have to do that I've got plenty more in here. What do I have? Let's try this guy right here. This is from my Shikoto. I also need to wet the brush probably. Yeah, let me wet the brush on this one. Ooh, I'm getting so close to the end of this product. Look at that, just like foiled. Let me grab my mirror here real quickie lickety quickie oh my goodness oh my goodness and i just blended those sydney gray shadows out like boom dunsies right picking up a little bit more of that glamorous it is a bit like flaky so i would suggest not spritzing your face but rather the brush and then again let's see this in slow motion Yes. all right let's go in with i would think you would probably want to do this normally with like a glitter glue but i don't have my glitter glue right in front of me so we'll do it this way for now so sorry yes yeah, this is gorgeous and let me get a little bit of tackiness you know it probably wouldn't hurt to get the glitter glue out 
Because they can already see the glitter everywhere. This is a little bit of a uh, not so precise brush. Let's do the P28. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get in these corners here. It's like straight foil on your lid. Do you see that? Oh yeah, with the proper brush, anything is possible. I kind of wanted like a cut crease look, which is why I went a little heavier on this side here. And there we go. All right, let's run some, yes, yes, we are running some of this general on the bottom lower lash line and then I'm going to put some of this I think it's officer no commission so general on the outer portion then commission is going to be on this inside portion here again just loading up my brush I got a lot of fallout folks I mean I'm not gonna lie about it this I got a lot of fallout And then I am like stamping it into this part right here, in case you're wondering. Ooh, damping this right on in, following up to this part of, this needs a little work up here in the corner, so let me grab this brush right here. This is the Refer 01. Well, I'm noticing some glitteriness. And it might be just because of the fact that it's the glitter flecks are pretty big. They're pretty substantial, but there you have it nonetheless. I think what I could do is perhaps add a little bit more of that chocolate bar and Princess Pepe put together and then just kind of blend into this right here. Ooh, that makes it look super, super pretty. Yeah, I really like that. A little bit more butterfly effect, if you ask me. Kind of living for that dream at the moment. Wipe this brush off with just my rag right here and go into a uh, commission and just kind of put that in. Oh, it's just a soft diffusion. It's so pretty. Yeah, I really like it. Really gonna have to recommend you do your face makeup last, just because I do have a lot of fallout, so I'm gonna try and dust that away. But I know it's not gonna go away, and it's okay. Whoa. All right, there is the look. I really find it super inspiring for the holidays, like a nice holiday date night. Um, super pretty. So before I let you all go, let's go ahead and go into the swatches. And I just went ahead and did an overhead version of this this time. So let's go ahead and check that out. Right now. Okay, that is it for the swatches and the completed eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed this build your own palette with the holiday theme. I want to show you guys how I selected the shadows and a couple swatches that I went through to make my decision there. First thing that we're going to get started with was how I chose some of the shadows that I did and what inspiration I took. So check it out. All right, let's fill this palette with some Christmas vibes, Christmas vibes. I guess I won't do that. This shadow right here, this is Glamorous from Give Me Glow. And it just gives me like champagne ornament vibes. So I definitely want to use that. I think it's going to be shimmer heavy mostly. I might also, ooh, 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 this is freshly pulled back. I might also have to grab some of the, sh like the shimmers that are neutral. But the first one is kind of like a, sh it is kind of like a champagne-y pink. <clears throat> Go ahead and set these up here. You guys like this new overhead? Yes, I know you do, because I love it. Okay, so the shimmer, I want it to be redder than this. What is this? This is Save the Dance. And it's all gonna be Sydney Grace. Does that look, 
me try this one. Or do we want Princess Pei Pei? I feel like that one's not it. I feel like this one, if anything. Ooh, yes, that berry, that cranberry tone. That's the one. That's the one. That one's just a little bit too purple for my standards. Yeah, it's just a little bit too purple. Well, it's a, a little cranberry in it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> I also want to do, so it's gonna be in the corner. This shade, I don't really have any. I have some in other brands, but I wanna to stick to Cine Grace. And it's kind of that cranberry shade almost. So we might do a matte. Is there any matte? It would be in the colors. Hmm. Maybe I could do this duochrome, Lucky Peach. Well, maybe, these are too close together, aren't they? Yeah, they are, they're too close. Let's do this for now. <clears throat> and then we do want a matte, like a peachy pink. Although that's too light, I need something darker. I think it's gonna be in my, um, I think it'll be in my mattes neutrals so I'll, I'll we'll put that one on hold okay this right here is going to go in place of that other like matte taupey purple that kind of let's see I would say it looks kind of similar to this shade right here maybe a little bit lighter ooh that middle shade <clears throat> okay, so that center shade, I kind of want to do like Winter Garden. Yes. Or should I do The Greatest Gift? Oops. Oops. Let me see here. Mm. I don't want to introduce blue. This is a pinky blue duochrome and the greatest gift is a pinky green duochrome and since I'm going to have green in the palette I don't want any blue introduced so you see how I did that I'm sticking the duochrome to get a duochrome to look good in a palette you always do whatever the shift is then you have like a row of the colors to kind of complement it so a nice light pinky champagne I'm gonna go ahead and grab my um, my other Sydney Grace shadows real quick. Oh yes, okay, so we do have some pinks, like some pinky reds in here that I might be able to. So I might, is that too pink? I feel like that's too pink, yeah, that's too pink. If it were just like a little bit more on the cranberry side, I could probably ease into that with no problems. I kind of thought this shadow would be nice, but it's almost got a purple hue to it. I did not swatch that very good. I thought it didn't. I don't know. I think I almost feel like that one needs to go. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Oops. This pink goes bye-bye. This one and this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. Then we're going to use some of these beautiful champagnes. This is like a pinky champagne. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is the one that I'm going to use. Or maybe this one. Let me see this one or this one this is more peachy that's more pinky so we're going to use this one. Ooh, I can't tell you all the shades that are going to be in there because I don't want you guys to know just yet I want you guys to stay with me so make sure if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do so right now because you are not going to want to miss the shadows that I picked out of my Sydney Grace collection for this collab video Ooh, what's this shade now we're into the green row, so we need a really dark green. Is this the green that I want, though? I don't feel like it is. This green. Oh no, this green. That's the one. Or is it this one? This one. What is it? Ooh, I don't want to tell anybody. I can't let anybody know. Okay, so I don't have any... Mm. Okay, I, you, you cannot see in the picture, but I think I'm going to go with this pink instead of this light one. 
<clears throat> okay then a matte dark olive green so this one let me oh yes bring tidings of christmas and joy it is darker in the other palette but i think i really enjoy this color for it okay so this is the last shade <clears throat> so i think personally you know what i'm gonna do this i know what shade that is and i definitely want that in there did i really want that in there i'm not sure Okay, I have one more shade and I want it to be a dark, deep rich, but I want it to be a dark, like, satiny. Ooh, this is the one I think. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, I think this is gonna have to be it. So we have one more shade left. This is kind of like my highlighter topper shade slash um, blush toppers. So I could go with my Electric Unicorn or I could keep it soft and beautiful and go with something like this. That's kind of nice. Ooh, do we have some yellow undertones? Not really. This one's a bit too white. I'm thinking this one here. Yeah, that one. It has blue. I know I said I didn't want to introduce blue. I would rather do green, but I think that's going to be my 10th shade. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Let's go ahead and head over there to the studio. And if you guys are feeling inspired to grab some of your single eyeshadows and use some of them, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below because I put out content weekly centered around single eyeshadows, makeup brushes, and sunscreen. So if you like that kind of content, be sure to subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into the final swatch party of this palette, this build your own palette. So here is the first shade in the palette, and it is Bailey's Bliss. Okay, the second shade is Paris. Then this is Gimme Glow's Glamorous. Next we have French Hens. This is now, again, back to Sydney Grace. I think there's only one shade by Give Me Glow in this. Yeah, this one doesn't really swatch all that nicely. So I just kind of rub it together really, really good and then give it a good swatch this way. Some of these mattes, just they're, that's just the way they are. Okay. Next up we have Commission. Tierra. <clears throat> and I forget what this one is. Um Ladylike. Whoa, just a moment. Had to uh, stop that from potentially contaminating the source here. Okay, and I believe this is general. Yep, general. Okay, then chocolate bar. I believe the third one is Princess Pepe, but I will double check that I didn't accidentally change it. Yep, Princess Pepe. Chocolate bar. And Princess Pepe. Oh, let me get another swatch. 
it's pretty silky fine and that is my nice holiday palette we are next going to be completing a 10 pan palette for the holidays and it's going to be like a new year's eve inspired palette so thanks so much for joining me in this episode i can't wait to see you guys in my next episode bye